Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to clean up dishes after cooking. So we just did a whole video about stoves and we were looking for new campfire recipes. And so today we're going to be learning about the three bucket system. The three bucket system concludes, uh, uh, includes three steps, wash, rinse, and sanitize. Uh, and that ensures that not only is our, our dishes clean when we put them back, but they're also dead. And so here's what we are going to do. We're going to set up a soap bucket, a rinse bucket, and a sanitized bucket with bleach. We're then going to take all of our dishes, which are over there, put them through here, and make them air dry over somewhere else. It's very important that they air dry, otherwise the sanitizer does not work. Okay? So, let's get started. We're going to start off by putting a little soap, just a little bit, like that much, in our... There we go. In. And mixing it around. We got our scrubby here, our scrubber here. The scrubbers are great because uh, they will get all the food particles off, and that is really the goal of this first step. This water is also warm. We put this on at the end of cooking, so after we finish eating, we have this warm bucket to start cleaning up. Take our bleach. Not a lot of bleach, probably about a cap of bleach. Dip it, dip it in there. Now, this is very important. There might be a little bleach running down the side, so to make sure no one gets a nasty bleach burn, especially those who are sensitive to bleach, we take it, we dip it in, we run it around so that all the bleach comes off. And that bucket is now very, very dead. Let's get started with our dishes. So we're going to take our dish, we're going to scrub. Scrub a dub dub. It's best to do this as soon as possible after we are uh, done cleaning, or after we are done uh, with dinner because the uh, dish, the stuff will come off a lot easier if it doesn't have time to dry. Of course, we're filming today, so this stuff will take a little longer to come off, but whatever. Okay. Also, this is only for the field. Once we get back to our home base, which in this case is right over there, but we'll, we'll film it, uh, it, you should put this, you know, dishwasher or, or properly wash these dishes in the same way before showering. Soap on here. Okay, now we're going to rinse it off. It's very important that we get all the soap off because soap is a natural laxative. So, next time we go and use our heater, interesting septic. Issues that occur. And then we're going to take it, we're going to go into bleach. We're going to dip in bleach. A few seconds. Come around here, dip in bleach. Bleach, by the way, should smell like a strong swimming pool, which it does. And then we're going to take our, our cleanup truck here, which Michael has prepared. It's just a trash bag. Cut it on the inside. Take it around here. Take the right side up, put this down, and let it dry, and then we go back to the next thing. There's an old adage that goes, if you take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. I think that's especially true for something important, as important as food. I mean, if you have food poisoning, then it's going to ruin the rest of your trip, and it's oftentimes preventable by just doing the dirty work, doing the dishes. It's not fun, especially after you've eaten, but again, if you take care of the gear, the gear will be ready to go when you need it, and it'll be there for you. So take care of your gear. We'll see you next time on Adventure Bros.